number 20. Super Smash Bros. Melee had sold 7 million copies in advance of Brawl's unveiling, so diehards watching this video knew that this was just a small taste of the iconic heroes that would eventually be on display in the final product. Most great trailers have one, maybe two, amazing reveals. This one scoffs at such puny expectations. Meta Knight, Pit, Zero Suit Samus, and Wario are given intros that truly befit their legacy. Link, Mario, Pikachu, and Kirby are included to no one's surprise, yet their appearances are anything but mundane. Nintendo has been known to be crafty in its trailers before, but it's never had so many announcements rolled up into one zany, comedy-filled piece of media. The final sneak attack comes at the end, when Solid Snake crashes the party. This trailer was a download guzzler and popular avatar meme, but above all, it's a sharp and compelling clip. Following Nico through close to 30 different locations, all faithfully rendered in-engine, it's the perfect sell for a GTA game. It's a trailer that says, get out there and make a name for yourself. These flashes aren't from any mission cinema or gameplay capture. We honored two other GTA 4 trailers that were exemplary for showing Nico's story, but this trailer was more complicated to produce, and even though we watched it multiple times during our deliberations, we never grew tired of it. Each scene lasts for a second and a half, yet any Liberty City regular that burned through Lost and Damned and the Ballad of Gay Tony can probably tell you what each and every location is. It's also the most flat-out entertaining TV spot we've ever seen, even if the Lucky Brits got it on their tubes and we had to wait until it hit the web. Number 18. Every trailer aims to make a game seem better than it actually is, and pre-rendered footage produced on a supercomputer can often go a long way toward achieving that goal. Animating your trailer to look exactly like gameplay while not saying it's really one or the other can also be viewed as a little devious. Killzone joined a bunch of other CG teases at Sony's E3 press conference, including Motorstorm, Resident Evil 5, and the premiere of Assassin's Creed. But questions still lingered weeks after the release of this trailer. Why were we blinded by this obvious fakery? Because it's one of the most exciting things we've ever seen, and it was for a new console that no one truly understood the capabilities of. There are only two cuts throughout this two-minute assault, and the perspective is tugged constantly in each direction. Six years after its unveiling, we're still hoping to one day play a shooter that looks this compelling. It even says Killzone and not Killzone 2 at the end. We will one day achieve this level of detail and eventually surpass it, so videos like this give the experts just the right amount of motivation to make it happen. Number 17. Animated game introductions tell the first chapter of the story, and others create a collage of the best moments or mechanics. This baby does both, and better than games released six years later dare to dream. At the end of this near six-minute mishmash of Japanese history, mythology, and general monster-spewing madness, you forget you're watching a trailer and wonder why the feature-length movie never came to fruition. The battle just keeps going and going, with each climax trumped by the next. The project was announced as the last adventure for its lead samurai Samonosuke, so before launch, fans watched this face-off with bated breath. Was this the end of the game, or merely the beginning? This timeless short shows how trailers can transcend console generations and create uniquely spectacular pieces of art. Number 16. Our so-called leaders prostituted us to the West, destroyed our culture, our economies, our honor. 
U.S. Marines stationed on high alert were given the order to invade the small... This trailer is like a big epic onion of awesome that you have to peel the layers off to see what makes it so great. On the surface, it was a convincing way to sell the direction Call of Duty was marching in. The trailer shows almost the entire game in brief flashes, yet it feels like each two or three second clip is some high level reveal. Below this is the game's atmospheric story, dangled in front of us with flashes of mass execution and untranslated Russian ranting. Looking even further inside, you'll notice the care that was taken in selecting not only each moment, but where the camera would be placed and moved to show it. Anyone who's played Modern Warfare can attest that this trailer does not lie. All of this action is present and accounted for in the final game. Call of Duty has always used its emotional, nationality-driven gameplay to sell the experience, but with this cut, the format is honed into one of the most blood-pumping edits we've ever seen. 15. Fans of Solid Snake remember MGS2's first showing at E3 in 2000, but upon repeated viewings, we found that trailer to be mostly an elongated tech demo. It was probably the best example of a trailer that was only big for the hype it generated, and not necessarily its overall quality. The TGS trailer, however, is the real deal. The edit kicks off with a scenic tour of the Big Shell disposal facility to the somber tune Can't Say Goodbye to Yesterday, and continually builds momentum right up to snippets of the game's multi-tiered finale. In hindsight, Snake's inclusion in the trailer is pretty sneaky, considering he never participated in some scenes in the actual game. To be fair, the game's real protagonist, Raiden, is shown several times in this cut, almost more than Snake himself, but fans wouldn't know it for a few more agonizing months. Nowadays, it seems impossible for Kojima to resist taking each MGS trailer way over the deep end. Out of all Metal Gear media, this edit completed its mission most efficiently.